energy. <laughs> all right, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta, we gotta just get into all the per action, the period action that we're about to see for you guys right now. So, question: Is this Amarillo's normal skin, the green one? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we actually have the green Ditto. I missed this last time. Well, the Amarillo's is like the only bear that uses the skin. Before it was Pink Fresh. Now, Amarillo's. Ooh. <gasps> oh no, if it's a booty! Really? Getting very scary in a matter of two seconds. You know, I was saying how, oh, you know, Mystery's gonna look for, you know, some type of statement to shut Emeralus down. But I mean, Emeralus right now is, it's the opposite, stating you're in winner's side because of a fluke. Let me correct the, this, this mistake real quick. Listen, you gotta correct them when they need to be corrected. Hello? Absolutely. A correctional facility. Mr. E's being put in the slammer because at 129%, he's barely able to respond to Amaryllis. He's at death's door and honestly, Amaryllis, is just, he's looking so comfortable right now. Absolutely, as they should. Hello. Well, I mean, now it might not be as comfortable. Oh, they got Aww. scared. They, they got scared. That's a uh, smash ultimate buffer for you. I love that bait. <laughs> Unfortunately, couldn't quite seal the deal with it. And now, uh, look at the way Mr. E is playing around Amaryllis' kill options. That almost did the deal right there, because they were already holding away for the tech roll away. And three stocks to one. This is giving me game five of the first play, uh, game five of winners flashbacks here. Amaryllis couldn't even take this. Finally manages to take the stock, meaning that. You know, still got fight left in him. Let's see if he's actually able to do anything with it, though. Absolutely. I really want to see all these combos come in. I want to see Amaryllis use those up tilts, use those combos, and then absolutely destroy Mr. E. Spend as much time as you can out of the corner because that is exactly what is being so detrimental to Amaryllis. That isn't going to end in an F smash, however. This can be super scary because right now, Amaryllis has to do some brujeria. They have to do some magic that isn't what we believe in. Nope. And that reminds me of also earlier on the way Mr. E was playing this advantage. That he would get hit, but then he would find his way out of the combo and immediately turn around. Earlier we Absolutely. saw him killing with forward airs. There the back air does it. So if you're Amaryllis, not only on top of everything else that that game meant, you also have to be like, I can't just like mash buttons in advantage. There's too much risk involved. I mean, to be completely honest, like, mashing is like a maybe viable option against Bayo. It's one of those things where it's like, if you're not super comfortable about the way that you're DIing, something that I constantly, constantly bring up is your positioning with your combos. Where do your combos lead you, and how does it negatively affect you? If you're at that position, I would never want to be in a position where I can potentially die if I ABK them. Because at that point, anything that I even hit them with is going to end in me, maybe at the black zone. Look at this combo right now. Amaryllis did about 75% to Mr. E, but and despite the fact that he hit him like 80 times to get him to 70, Mr. E hits him like six times and he's at 79. He fell out of the jab! Auntie, that was an F smash! What happened to the F smash normal get out? I I do think it's interesting. Yeah, we're not seeing F smashes at all. Is that jab gonna kill? Yeah. It will, and I mean, hey, it's a lot <laughs> safer than F smash, so. F smash and neutral, period. Alright, Amaryllis with the stock lead. Let's see. <laughs> We're getting to the point where we haven't seen him with the stock lead against E for a while. And well, this is one of the things is that if you if you do um if you have a bit of advantage, you know, all the percent matters right now. Absolutely. Like that, only to 37%, and this is where we're really gonna see Amaryllis try and take back this lead, which they've been doing pretty comfortably. And that was such good SDI on Mr. E's part. They did not want to die just yet. And the as match is going to take that stock. Hello? With only 50% too. Oh, wow. Period. And I love the fact that he baited Mr. E into the early up beat. Did you see that? The way he jumped off stage, but immediately faked him out. Came back onto stage. Ready. Oh, my God. Was that out of it? 
Was that at a disadvantage? I, I that think... Was, was um, that Emeralus' own combo that happened? Oh my god. How so, you? normally what happens is that you want to really end that combo. They shouldn't be able to attack you. In the way that it works, um, Lucina swings her sword from like the left side or whatever side she's... The ABK sent her. So whatever side it sent her, it starts off from that side. So you should be able to hit her first. But, yeah... Oh, you saw that F smash. That was an F smash trying to- Oh! Period! The one time, the ones they've been trying to call out these jumps so much, and Mr. E was not expecting. He was not expecting Amaryllis to do it a seventh time. That was so good. I'm sorry. Yeah, no good stuff to Amaryllis managing to even up this game count. 1-1. One, one. And, oh, man, this is probably Mr. E's last Encore Monthly here. You know, already has managed to be in the winner's side of Grand Finals. You don't want to have things slip away from you. Think about the statement that makes. You know, it's kind of your swan song to being a, such a Westchester representative. So, okay, as we move into Game 3, it does get... Oh, this stage. I think this stage is going to be great for Mr. E. To the point where I, I, I'm surprised this stage was not banned. You are putting your head in your hands, and I assume that is why, because... We've already seen what happens when Mr. E, when you have no platforms or anything to escape to. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. Oh my god! Oh my god! The insane asylum. That is me. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> oh wow, just such a sad start to this game from Amaryllis. Why? Oh my god. I. So, if Mr. E wins this game, uh, and Amaryllis wins the next one, he's going to have to face off against Mr. E with Mr. E's counter pick, and I hope that he bans FD next time. I just, I mean, look at the way that he's able to take a single neutral win all the way to the bank. Mr. E, his advantage state right now is looking phenomenal. That actually does it. Neutral and waiting out the spot dodge. Mr. E, this is uh, this is a level of control that we haven't. I don't think we've seen him have since set one between these two. I'm telling you, oh, that wasn't sweet spot back air, but that was. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> my back air, not better than yours. But you still kill him. All right, getting this combo going on. Fair one, two, three, gonna end that combo pretty early. Not gonna get too much off of that edge card, and they're really just trying to get back to stage, but it's not working out. And look at these wall of hitboxes. That's at that hit from six million miles away. And you know the thing too, right? I was really wondering what happened to the counter. Every single time Mr. E's hit Amaryllis with a down tilt, they could have been able to go, you know, down for a counter. ABK like two times. Like, when it comes to, like, Bayo, she does have very limited resources when she loses her jump. And Amaryllis lost their jump two times? Maybe four? Like, it, definitely not in the same situation, but still lost her jump. So, I don't know. There's something going on here. Alright, well, this is now game four, and I like this stage pick. This is kind of the polar opposite of FD. Not only do you have some slants that Bayo can take advantage of with her, uh, you know, with her guns, but also that platform layout might make it a lot easier for Amaryllis to both land and combo. So for Mr. E, despite how dominant the last game was, I think this might actually be a little bit tricky for him to replicate that kind of success here. Absolutely. They have the tools. They can be taking Mr. E off at extremely high percent. Back here. I wanted to see back here. Oh, is that no jump? Uh, oh, man. That single mistake didn't quite cost Mr. E too much. Only about 43% on his body right now. But, I mean, once again, on this stage, if that, if that combo gets reset on a platform, oh boy, the consequences How are done. How did end up on the other I'm, I'm done. <laughs> that was wow. That was a beautiful parry. Those ABKs have been coming out, and I don't even think Mr. E needed to parry there because he's been definitely punishing the ABK uh, just out of shield with his back air. But, I mean, if you've got the reaction time and you've got the read, go for it. 
make sure it's uh, guaranteed. Ooh! Uh, oh, it did kill! The trade? I'm um, really one at that. That exact position of back air has gotten like six stocks against Mr. E. Yeah. It is still a very wet noodle type move. But it's like in the exact position of like, I am, you're above the stage, but not quite off it at this like 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, that trade. Yeah, I, I think that that, I, I don't think that counter is the right call. The fact that Emeralist still has found ways to stall off stage and turn what should be a good situation around. Instead, Mr. E, just stay on stage and do old reliable what you know has worked time and time again. You know, we haven't really seen Amaryllis go off stage all that much, like to actually actively try to edge guard Mr. E, which at first doesn't seem pretty easy. Only went off maybe two or three times in this entire two sets that we've had from both of them. But he died for at least two of them, though. Uh, well, yeah, he died at you. 40 of uh, them. Let in me, the last let me, game. let me not. <laughs> the last <laughs> set they had, he, that was pretty much what cinched his defeat. Not gonna lie. Uh, but speaking of defeat, Amaryllis right now might have to be facing down his own. The up he had a shield is enough to do it. Mr. E with the 3-1 victory ends up taking on Cormuskly as uh, the grand champion.